on, started moving around Smythe and avoiding him and, and using his boxing ability. And he hurt Smythe with a good left hook in the second round, a great shot. You can see it here. He, he, uh, uh, then he got caught himself, but this is... This still is in round, the second round This is here, round two still, and, and this is where he got caught and cut um, Richardson. And, you know, as I say, a series of gambles, and really it started all going, falling apart from after that. He began to panic. He started to make the mistake of fighting this guy in the trenches. He was hurt with a couple of right hands. Richardson has come into this fight with a whole history of getting seriously cut. Yeah. Does that affect the way he approaches the job there, tonight? There is no question about it. It changes your whole tactical plan. You can't stick to the game plan of maybe avoiding punches and keeping out of the way when you've got an attacking fighter like Smythe. You have to go in there and take chances. And he done that. Looks so demoralised, doesn't he? Really, he really knew at that stage. It was, Smythe was beginning to hurt him because of the fact that he was standing in close and punching with him. But these punches were shaking him to his boots. He was, he was dipping at the knees there, and they were certainly hurting him. And let's not take it away from Smythe. He boxed brilliantly here tonight. He boxed a plan, and uh, he he done a brilliant job. And nobody deserves it more. He deserves a shot at the title. Fabulous win for Michael Smythe, and a heartbreaking disappointment for Richardson. Uh, just to remind.